Hello guys, welcome back, welcome to my channel Nihon Kara Konbanwa. Herzlich willkommen. <laughs> so guys, I want to talk about NVIDIA, the ticker is NVDA. I think I don't need to introduce this ticker here guys. I already made a couple of uploads here and chart analyzes on NVIDIA. Yeah, guys, we close here with minus 10%. Uh, first of all, of course, of course, I have to say I'm not a financial advisor, guys. This is not a financial advice. I just give you here my opinion based on the chart and based on the technicals. Yeah, minus 10% on Friday. As you can see here, guys, the stock market yeah, was quite red. We had some shakeouts here last week. It started already the week before on Friday. And uh, Nvidia also was part of that, but this is absolute normal, guys, since we had here an absolute crazy run for Nvidia. We had new all-time highs here at almost $1,000, $974. When you see what, where the price has been here in October 2022 yeah, at $107. So this is just a crazy run. And when you have crazy runs, especially some leg ups like this, guys, you need to retrace and you need a technical correction. This is absolute normal. Of course, the news, guys, the news telling you something here. I don't know. They say, you know, the chip uh, providers or here the chip stocks are going down because retail investors are afraid for uh, tax, uh, for high taxes, you know. Ah, guys, I don't know. Do you, do you sell your NVIDIA positions because of that? I don't think so. So let's check the chart. In my opinion, everything is based here on algorithms and everything is quite predictable in trading. So I will show you here some very interesting details here for NVIDIA. And I will show you also some yeah, secret hidden hints in the second chart, which could um, yeah, tell us what is uh, yeah, happening in future here with this stock. So let's enable the drawings here for this one. So what we can see, we had here this kind or have still this kind of trend channel here. So we traded here in an uptrend pattern. Uh, you know, of course, we are here in an absolute strong, powerful uptrend for NVIDIA, but it is time for a correction. So I made already here in my previous video a Fibonacci retracement where I could already predict the price levels which we achieve next as soon as we break here over $489. This was also one of the predictive uh, price levels here. Everything based on Fibonacci, as I said. Please check out my previous videos, guys. And you can see the second level was $719 and the third Fibonacci level is $915. So this is not in coincidence that we exactly on the dot almost here got rejected here. You can see in the weekly chart, we never could close a candle over $950.20. As I said, yeah, believe what you want, make your own due diligence. Yeah, you have to decide which stocks you want to trade and how to trade them. But for me, everything is based on algo. So that's why it's quite predictable where to buy and sell stocks if you know how to do it. So based on the technicals here in the weekly chart, we have now here for the first time, first time since January 2024, the first time that we start to retest here the moving averages. You can see here the white, the yellow and the purple line. I can, of course, also disable here the drawings for a second that you can see that guys also we have here an absolute over completely crazy oversold weekly rsi this is not healthy guys sorry overbought absolute overbought rsi here and that's why we also start to see a pullback now what is possible from now on guys honestly everything here between 30 and 70 percent is possible yeah i i know you will not believe that i will show you why i think that because we have some hidden signals in the chart the moving averages guys here the lines which you see in the chart the purpose of those moving averages as the name says yeah is to find the price average for a stock for a cryptocurrency whatever and when you never retouch these moving averages anymore then it's just a matter of time until you break down we had the situation here already once guys here in 2021 yeah we had everything here squeezed in 2020 and 2021 also so did nvidia and you can see we squeezed here far over the moving averages in the weekly chart came back could not find support anymore and came even back down so this is what i want to show you here uh, by the way guys if you are new to my channel yeah the main purpose here of my channel is to educate people in trading so i will show you this here now for a second and i use this guys by or i'm doing that that kind of education by um yeah using short squeeze stocks of course i have this official youtube watch list everybody knows these tickers here guys i don't need to talk about these stocks or cryptocurrencies here guys this is nothing special but I have a lot of yeah short squeeze tickers here in my pocket because I love to trade short squeeze stocks and I'm just uploading here a brand new video I do this every week and I call them the so-called hot stocks guys these tickers here 
in these videos are my yeah, personal favorite short squeeze stocks, which you normally will not find here on YouTube. Nobody's talking about these tickers. I have my own stock program, which is doing the research for me. I do a chart analyze and I present these tickers here for members, guys. Yeah, so what is in here? Uh, just some example here from the past week. So when I talk about a short squeeze stock, then I expect a squeeze from at least 100% in one or two or three, maximum three trading days. And what we had now here in the past week, guys, was this squeeze here, 214% in one day. That was one of the hot stocks here. The second one was 205% here in one day. And the third one, yeah, just 142% and it even took uh, two or almost three days here. So that was the slowest, the, the yeah, lowest squeeze here from the hot stocks. That doesn't mean guys that every stock which I show here will squeeze, yeah, this is impossible. But I always do the chart analyze, of course, before the stock squeeze, of course, yeah. Otherwise we would just FOMO in and burn our money. That makes no sense. If you want to see these hot stocks, guys, uh, the newest video for next week. So where I show the tickers, which I think could squeeze next week or which have high squeeze potential. I'm just uploading this video right now. If you want to see that, you can check out here my Patreon guys. Here, patreon.com, black belt trader. There here in the ultimate black belt club, you will have access to these weekly hot stocks here, or you can join in here the elite circle membership on my channel. All the links are here in the video description guys. And when you go here, or you can just of course go in that case here on the main page of my channel here, join membership and then here the black belt elite circle have access to these hidden short squeeze stocks or the so-called hot stocks guys. So let's now continue here with Nvidia. You can see I have here some special indicator here in this chart and you can see all these orange lines here guys. Yeah, we now here in the daily chart, not in the weekly chart anymore. And all these orange lines here are open gaps to the downside. We start already. We started already here with Nvidia to close here the first open gap. Yeah, this is not in coincidence, guys. When you have these kind of gap ups in the chart, the chance that you close these gaps, especially down gaps, is about 90%. Yeah, so when we see what happened here, Nvidia was trading here at $974 and we lost already here when we just see the movement here until this gap. I also said that in my previous videos, I have no doubts that we start to close these gaps step by step. We lost here 15% and in total it was of course even more with the price movement here on Friday, minus 10%. We lost in total already, tw already 22% from the top price action. Yeah, what is possible next? Yeah, guys, you can see that here, $688, $633, $31 and $599. You don't think this is possible guys it is absolute possible we had the situation here where you see the open gaps get closed we had the situation here just focus please on the orange lines here and what does that mean when we had this kind of price run here you can also see this huge pump we gapped up once two three four times we gapped up this is not healthy guys this is not a healthy price action even if you of course talk here about an overall uptrend over the years, but we need some big corrections. And what you don't want is to buy a stock for $900 and then the stock crashes down to let's say $500 and need one or two years to build finally new all time highs. And you have, you know, for one or two years, a red number in your portfolio. Nobody wants that guys, yeah? So just to give you an example here that we also closed all these orange gaps here. Yeah, we closed here four gaps with this price action here. And that was a total loss here, a temporary loss of 39% but when we see the complete downwards momentum the complete move here to the downside guys Nvidia lost minus 68% we're talking here about 1.9 trillion dollar market capital and even a stock like that guys can here lose and yeah less than one year it was less than one year yes can lose almost 70% yeah, what, what would that mean when we see this again happening, guys? Uh, it is possible, in my opinion, yeah? Because when we see where the open gaps are waiting, when this big lag up started here, that was this price candle here. Here we accumulated and then here hell got unleashed and we had this huge price run up here. You can see here that was uh, October 2023. So also a beautiful short squeeze here, yeah? 149%, as I said, yeah, we have this here almost in three days. But I don't want to you know, you know, uh, lower that here. That is a very, very nice squeeze. But this is what can happen now. So if we would suggest that we also lose now here 68 to 70 percent, where would we end up here in the chart? 55, 59, 60, 68. Guys, exactly here, the same price move, we would end up here exactly at this open gap at $306. Yeah, then you will say, yeah, but we have a lot of more open gaps even here in the $1 range maybe, yeah. 
Yes, guys, it's true. But when the company later will do stock splits and stuff like that, same like Tesla, yeah? Tesla was trading at $1,200, did some stock splits. Now the stock is somewhere at 100, where is it now? $150, $160. We can check that out here. Tesla is now $147, split adjusted, of course. But this is exactly what can also happen to Nvidia because they want to get your cash, guys. Yeah, they want to get your cash. Uh, they don't want to make you rich, at least not the market makers. Yeah, this is why so many people lose in trading. So you have to know the rules. And so what is possible when we see that this was here the latest uh, total price move and when the correction is now coming in, that can that will show us that this price action is over. So we can simply use here a Fibonacci retracement and can measure where are the potential price goals for the next weeks. As long, guys, as long as we're trading over $684 over this level here. So if we would close this gap here at $688, would not close below $684, would bounce here. That would mean we are still here in an uptrend and still in a squeeze. But what is technically possible that we come down here to $518, guys, yeah? If we would go below $518, that would be very bearish, guys, yeah? Because then I would think we will start to close here the open gaps to the downside step by step until we find support and the next yeah price pump kicks in, which is potentially here in the 300, yeah, 290 to $350 range here. We can see where the price reacted here, where the big pump kicked in. That was here, this gap up here initiated the next squeeze, initiated the next all-time high here between 2021 and here it started in May 2023. So this is a, 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 probably a very strong support here from the bulls. As I said, if they don't dilute the stock here in Nvidia or make some kind of uh, stock splits or whatsoever, because you can see that here in the chart, they already did here a four to one reverse stock split, but that was just you know a kicker here for some weeks and then there was a huge sell-off. Yeah, this is that, uh, the prediction that I can give you guys based on the technicals, as I said, yeah, make your own due diligence. Maybe you will not like what I say. I'm not bearish on Nvidia, but it is absolute normal, guys, that we need here a technical retracement and we have some certain price levels here based on the technicals that will predict us if the price is going up or down. That's why I say as long as we stay here over $684, that would be very, very bullish. But if we come below, and still, if even if we come down to $580, this is still not bearish, guys. This is a normal, healthy retracement. Just when we start to close the price below $518, guys, that would be not so bullish anymore for NVIDIA. Yeah, guys, if you want, I can offer you here something. You can uh, copy these chart lines here, also the price level, which I made here with Fibonacci. If you don't know how to use Fibonacci, you can, of course, just write these price levels here in your chart, guys. I tried to zoom out here a little bit. And uh, this is everything here based on TradingView, guys. I use TradingView for all my videos. I'm not sponsored by TradingView, but I also can offer you here a discount link in the video description if you really want to start trading or let's say maybe even want to change your life a little bit yeah, and become a trader. In my opinion, guys, there is no way around to use TradingView. It's an absolute awesome program. I use that for all my videos, guys. So I can give you here a discount link in the video description. When you click this link here, guys, this is yeah, this link here. Then you get a $15 discount here on your subscription. You can choose between Essential Plus and Premium. I always recommend for my members and also for everybody who want to start trading or even for advanced traders, guys, the Plus tier, the Plus subscription here for TradingView is good, a good way to start. Guys, that was the update here on NVIDIA. I hope you liked that video. Um, yeah, I wish you a great Sunday. As I said, if you want to check out the hot stocks, guys, feel free to join in here the memberships. And I wish you a great Sunday. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Arigato gozaimasu. Vielen Dank. Einen schönen Sonntag. Bis zum nächsten Video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.